uh, December 13. It's uh, 7 o'clock in the morning. So I'm here looking at the irrigation channel. So I'm really happy to see the channel to be the clean part. The channel, the water is moving. Now, I keep, I, I ask, what is the schedule for releasing water upstream? So, uh, it's 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. Upstreams, get the water. And then 5 p.m. Uh, to 6 a.m. Then the, the, the water is, the gates are closed and allow water to flow downstream. The, uh, the system here is, of course, everything is manual, not computer controlled. So, in the near future, I'm proposing a computer controlled uh, pneumatic gate. The gate will be controlled by uh, a computer and set to the appropriate time. Also, those time cycle, I'd like to, I'm going to request them to change it a little bit. For example, the 5 p.m. to 6 a.m. Difficult for farmers to monitor because now it's in the evening into, into the night. And uh, what tends to happen is the, the water should be shared, but uh, some farmers just want to get all the water and no water will flow downstream. So there's a little bit of selfishness in people, typical. But it's not, it's nothing unusual. And that's, one of, that's the reason why my cousin was killed because he worked the midnight, the, the, the night cycle patrolling the irrigation channel to make sure that the water flows towards San Pedro. So they killed him. His body was never found. So most likely he got killed from here where I'm standing as he moves toward uh, San Placido. One have to remember uh, those dark days that this this area was really full of vegetation. And if people wants to kill you here those days, you will be killed and your body will never be found. Those were the dark days. Now, in this generation, there's still some dark days. I hope less so. And more, and hopefully more farmers should be understanding that they don't own all of the water. The water should flow down. So, I'm thinking of recommending, well, the thing, the thing to do first is to build a prototype and then demonstrate the uh, thought and idea. So, I'm going to do that. The other thing that I'm really curious about, and I asked a question, how do you know the, the flow rate? The incoming and outgoing? And the answer is, no one knows. They don't have, the organization don't have the, uh, the tools. I get that. Maybe I can uh, develop the tools for them. So that's the thought. So here the water is flowing. It'd be great to know the uh, the flow rate. One other thing I one other thing one information I read is how much was water does it take to grow rice? Like for example, this is one hectare. How much water does it need? The answer turned out. Uh, 
Uh, I mean, it's most likely has been studied. Well, the, the, the water required from start to finish is 1.2 million liters or 1,000 cubic meters of water per hectare. So that's how much water you need to irrigate one hectare of rice field. Now, knowing that information, you can say, well, when, when, when I check the, the coverage of the, these irrigation, this one, and the irrigation over there, it cover a coverage of uh, 400 hectares. So, 1,000 cubic meter of water times 400 hectares. So let's see, that, that would be 400,000 cubic meter of water or 400 million liters of water. By not knowing the, the flow rate, uh, we cannot know whether that is uh, desegregation. We cannot know whether it's, it, it does actually give that much water. I don't, I don't think it does. So, in the next little while, I'm going to actually, uh, I'm going to do a, a check on the uh, outflow of the irrigation channel coming out of the Sifo Dam. Uh, the, the, the gates at San Placido, uh, one gate, uh, gates toward the uh, killing, ran, ran parallel to the river, and the other gate comes here. So, uh, we, we need to know the outflow. I mean, we should know the, the uh, hectare coverage of this uh, irrigation channel. It, it's almost like there's no answer or even an estimate. Uh, I keep hearing, not enough water, not enough water. I don't know about that. I think there's enough water. But without factual data, we don't know. So uh, my, uh, my instinct is telling me there is enough water. But who's to say? Maybe they're right. But my brain is telling me they're wrong. And the, the answer to that is get actual data and, and see whether they're right and I'm wrong, or I'm right, and they're wrong. The uh, over time, since uh, growing up here, these used to be non-rice field. They grow other things, but they weren't rice field. Today they are. And I was looking at satellite image imagery a couple of days ago, and I noticed as I moved the uh, the uh, the imagery starting at 2010 all the way to 2022, I see a change in the landscape. So now, more and more the land uh, has become rice field. So, uh, more and more than the need for uh, irrigation, help from the government. Yeah, the road is uh, muddy. Um, motorcycles uh, will, will end up with lots of mud on their wheels. So, so the, the so this rice field is being flooded. I envy them. I wish my rice field is flooded like this. I mean, quite frankly, that's an illegal uh, diversion. But oh well. Uh, th time, as I, as we, I keep saying I because at the moment, like farmers are not really a we, but it is an I here. So 
uh, I have to change how I think about things. So we will improve things, hopefully, not becoming I. So happy that the uh, Nia. So there, there's two teams here, uh, the Nisha and the uh, Nia. Uh, IAs, I'm not sure. I haven't met an IA. Only once and I didn't like it. Uh, so I'm okay with that. So the backhoe uh, skip cleaning this length. It's about 30 meters. I'll ask them if they could go back and clean the uh, this length because it, it's it's also become a constraint to the flow. And then, of course, I did reach uh, the end of the uh, clearing. It's just, uh, it, it gets damped uh, due to the weeds. So this is the, exactly the, the challenges here. By having these built up silt and weeds, it slows down, damp the water behind. So the water is not flowing. And then, of course, trickle that away. So there's water. I'll go to the uh, to the uh, irrigation gate. S T no lat A. So water has reached this point. This I hate it. It's garbage dump. So this now has water. So I'm going across the, the road. There seems to be water. Yeah, there's water on the other side. It's been so long that anyone cares for uh, Anyone care for water here? I used to go swimming here. So there's water. And they, of course, they damped it. So there's no water trickling that way. So it stops here just because it does stop. <clears throat> I mean, if, if there were a lot, a lot of water uh, coming down. Then that, that would be overflowing. I remember this thing used to be uh, overflowing. So. so, well, this uh, culvert here is plugged probably. You can see uh, connection on the other side. Yeah. It's, it'll just damp your and collect. It could it could be beautiful if only uh, if only wishful thinking. So I'm in Monius West right now. So. The, the water has uh, reached this point, so I can hear water flowing. And then when I went down to the main road, the water hasn't reached there. So, so something is, anyway, 
something is. So there's water flowing here now. Yesterday, uh, yesterday when I was checking the uh, channel, no water. That's Munoz West. So with these, uh, there's uh, water passing by the culvert. So that road goes to Marcus. Here the, the water is being dammed. The, uh, so uh, there's a backup. And the water has sent, reached the level that it would go into this rice field. So that's NFA. In the years of my youth, which is no more, there used to be non-rice field. It wasn't. The day is cloudy. The clouds are low, so uh, it's, uh, it'll rain probably. We need the rain. While the uh, irrigation channel is being cleaned, uh, we do need the rain. The, the cost of diesel is uh, going down. I fear, I, I'm happy it's going down. Um, the oil cap of the uh, Russian Federation oil, OPEC, one, wanted to overcome that by reducing uh, oil production. One thing, not needing, one thing to increase the price of uh, oil barrel or barrel of oil. Typical worldwide manipulation of energy. Like, uh, anyway, what I've learned is it's all in God's time. These things has to happen. And you have, one has to ask oneself why these things has to happen. I can't give you that answer. Simply that it does. And uh, one, uh, one must accept it. Now the, the challenge of course is how to overcome these challenges because they won't stop. The, the world the way it is, it won't get better, it will get worse. So uh, if a person believes that things will get better, I have to convey to you that no. The world, will, the world will get worse, not better. The world will get worse, not better. The release of water from last night, uh, there's enough water collected here, and uh, this is dammed. So water is moving that way, and water is moving that way. So the, the rice field here will be flooded and they could transplant. So I'm happy that they are getting a share of the water. And this is how it should be. If the irrigation channel, when the irrigation channel is managed and it does what it does, People benefits and instead of the Philippines being a importer we could become a ex net exporter and we the farmers needs to help with that now if the irrigation channel is not maintained and managed then there's a failure I know I'm preaching. You might say I'm preaching to the choir. <laughs> Who are the choir? 
whoever listened to this and say, yeah, I, I, I get you, I get you. And do nothing. That's the choir. <sighs> So this water, that, that, this uh, channel comes from uh, San Placido. There's a main gate or a main channel and then uh, diverges into Kiling and then Munoz. It's, it may have been that they already closed the, uh, the gate here for this channel the uh, there was a design for this that if when the the water is at its proper level then this design of controlling water that way and then excess water goes that way so there's a design it has to work based on the based on the level of water it won't work now the reason why they destroyed it is if the when the wall was high then this basically take all of the water that way it's uh, that's the way it's designed so it prevents overflowing So of course the dam, the, the water behind this gate, uh, the uh, farmers simply put uh, vegetation. Uh, yeah, it's it's the way it is. Get water best you can. Do this and do that. Uh, basically lack of management. I don't get it. There are things in place, but they're not being followed. It just doesn't make sense. With the Ill illegal, with the illegal diversion closed off somewhat, then water is actually flowing downstream. The, uh, the illegal diversion, there's actually a leak, so there's still water flowing out. It really needs to be controlled because once that, once that thing is opened, it takes all of the water from here and just go that way. And no water goes down. Having the irrigation channel lined up like this, this is what they call liner. Uh, if the uh, channel is not maintained, basically silt built up and uh, vegetation begins to uh, uh, come into be. I mean the silt and nutrients are really good for uh, vegetation. Now these, the servicing of these, there are farmers obligation. And uh, because of the lack of water, Farmers are uh, disenchanted and uh, have this thought, why should I clean the irrigation channel? There's no water, what's the point? Now, th there's a lot of reasons. Uh, there used to be fees that are collected from the farmers because water is given to them, provided to them. Over time, that, that broke down because there's no water and they were collecting fees. Like, collecting fees but provide no service. So, there's disappointment. They were disenchanted. So there was a breakdown. Um, the, the hope here is uh, for the organization to provide service and then uh, the farmers will begin to say, ah, good service guys and uh, pro provide the appropriate tax I heard maybe these are good farmers 
they don't have problem providing tax payment as long as there are service given to them. Yeah, it's actually a, a, a loop. Sometimes it's an open loop, sometimes it's a closed loop. In, the, in this case, from what I understand, uh, IA, we're collecting fees, no service was given. Continue, continue doing that for the years. I mean, this, this is over 20 years. I don't know how many years they were collecting fees, but provided no service. So, that, that, that is how I understood the, uh, the reason for this. Fees were being collected, no service was given. So the farmers feel that's not in their best interest. And I totally agree with that. It's like, hey, give me money, but I'm giving you nothing in return. I hope it'll, it'll change. I mean, the, the service is, uh, is free. And that is, to, that is to challenge the farmers to better themselves so that the Philippines can, be, can become a rice exporter. I mean, I think for the government to uh, to go and have the farmer support that uh, cause, then certain things has to be free, like water, like these. And there is an associated cost to that. But the return is tremendous. You know, the Philippines becoming a rice exporter again, that is the return. But there is an initial outlay of funds first. And those broke down in the past. I don't know how they, the government uh, will be able to execute this. I totally agree and uh, support this idea that the, the Philippines become a rice exporter. But having irrigation channel like this, no. The Philippines cannot be a rice exporter. It will simply stay an importer because, because of the conditions of these channels. I mean, we're pumping uh, water to irrigate the, the fields. And I, I look at Google Earth and uh, I did a outlay of this irrigation channel. What does it cover? What does it service? And I was shocked to find out it's 400 hectares. And as I bike along the uh, irrigation channel, lots of farmers. Lots of farmers. 400 hectares. With lots of pumps. 100 millions of peso probably for uh, funding the 400 hectares. 100 million peso to Buy fuel and fertilizer, probably even more, maybe half a billion, I don't know. But I can say that it's a lot of pace out to uh, support growing this rice field. I mean, if, if, I, if I spend uh, 50,000 per hectare, for example, And multiply that by 400 hectares. Imagine, that's uh, that's a lot of money. Let's see, 50,000. That's uh, five zeros. Add two zeros. So 20 million. My math right? I mean, you can you can do the numbers. So 50,000 hectares. Per hectares, fifty thousand pesos per hectares. Multiply that by four hundred. So I add in two more zeros and multiply four by two. So that's uh, ten, a hundred, a hundred million pesos. I think that's that's my number is correct. This channel, we're actually this uh, here. 
I think this channel is clogged or maybe just needs to be desalted. Maybe it just needs to be clean. Actually, how do you clean a cold boat like this if it's silted underneath, inside? Like, for example, if there's silt underneath here, how do you clean that? I suppose when it's there's no water, I, I suppose a person can, could actually go inside and start to clean it. <laughs> It'll be dark and muddy inside probably. So cobra. Na yung masator kaysa ginalabaga. Wan. Ginalabaga na ataat. Ah? Kita ay mata tu wayawit ta. So we had to kill a snake. at the end toward the road so uh, the uh, hopefully you won't hit, hit the high tension wire uh, all the way there there's a lot of back hoeing today so there's a kid concern that the, uh, it might hit the cable so he has to now thinking 4D or 3D. Uh, factor in the cable, uh, it's low hanging. It smells here, they trash something in here that stinks. The years of this culvert not clean is actually plugged. Like it's plugged, and it's no wonder there's no water coming on this side. I was wondering there should be a lot of water here. It's, it's been flowing since since whatever. There's no water uh, passing through the culvert. So it needs to be desalted too as well. So it's gonna be a bit of a challenge. So this water comes in here and you can feel the mud, like it's so thick. And uh, there's no water passing through here. So I don't know how much uh, effort would it take to uh, clean the uh, clean the culvert, uh, but it's going to be a lot of effort. Flushing it uh, would be a challenge. The uh, downside of irrigation canal left unused for years will uh, become a garbage dump along the length of the canal it's just garbage uh, yeah it's making a road for itself so so it can move forward
So the uh, operator is new and he's uh, learning how to operate the machine. It's uh, December 15, so uh, we're on this section of the uh, irrigation channel that's being uh, cleaned. They, they can, the, the limited uh, space that we do have here to clean, so it'll just be a limited job. Uh, the uh, back hole will do its, what it can do today, and then it's going home. It's assigned to another job somewhere. So the guys went out for lunch. They'll be back. I have to pay some uh, diesel to continue uh, some more distance. So you can see the mud and the debris. It's a uh, swampy smell. So the uh, rotting vegetation gave it that uh, swampy smell. The, the salt is so thick, really. It's been so long neglected. <laughs> 